I want you to imagine what it's like to never, ever receive anything again. What would that be like, to not ever receive anything again? To not have the feeling, not to have the sense that you are at the receiving end of creation. Yes, you are perceiving creation. But are you really receiving creation? What if you're not receiving creation? What if that was never the case? What if 100% of the time you put in place exactly the things that you see? All the time, every nanosecond, all the billions of molecules are placed there by you. What if you are not the receiver of experiences, but the conceiver and the giver of experiences? What if it is you that is giving creation its creation, its form? What if you're not a mind-body walking around in a predetermined physical external reality? What if all of this is your own manifestation? Now this may not be a completely new concept, but what might be slightly new to you is the more radical approach of seeing the fact that you have never, ever, ever, ever received anything to begin with. You have always given yourself this moment. You've always given, you've always created, you've always decided what this moment is going to appear as, what it's going to look like. And you can therefore become conscious of that once again, instead of being an unconscious creator that then believes it's a receiver of its own creations, which it's unaware of, you can step back into the creator's seat and you can be conscious, you can become more deliberate, you can take the reins back up. And again, this is not about control in that sense, although it is as well, but not in the way that we have made it out to be a negative concept. It's about control in terms of conscious creation. You take control in that sense, you take control of yourself. You become more deliberate in your manifestations, in your creations, in what you place in front of you. Does that make sense so far as a general context to what I'm sharing? Okay. So when you realize that you have never ever received creation, ever, again, really feel into that because there's an endless depth to feeling into this. It's not just say, oh yeah, I get that idea. That's a fun idea. No, if you start to feel into that, it starts to become real and it starts to shift your paradigm already. So again, for a moment, feel into the fact that you've never ever received creation. You've only ever created every single detail that you perceived. There is no giver of experiences other than you. No one or nothing has ever given you an experience. You've never been on the receiving end of creation. What if that was true? What if this dream reality was always 100% already your manifestation? Every single detail of it, not just how you respond to things, but the very chair that I'm sitting on is you placing it under my butt as we speak all the time, billions of times every second. Thank you. You're placing this chair underneath my seat so I don't fall. What if that was you doing that? What if you were not receiving that? What if this was not already the case external to you? What if there is no external reality whatsoever? And here's where it gets interesting. Here's where the shift becomes practical, where it becomes practicable, where it becomes experiential. And that is when you start to play with this concept, when you start to try it out and you ignore everything else, you ignore everyone else, you ignore the idea that there is a reality outside of yourself, you ignore the sense, the feeling, it has become a sense perception through automatic conditioning. But you, Im you imagine the absence of the feeling that you are walking around in an actual physical world. You just eliminate that for a moment. You press the eject button, Pew. gone. There is no external reality for just a moment. There has never been a reality. There's never been an other person that you've interacted with. There has never been an actual physical reality that you've been a part of. You're not a part of anything. You are the creator of the entirety of the universe of all that is. What if everything is completely 100% subjective? Feel into the sense that you can create right now of me being over here as external to you. Just look at me and 
create the sense or feel into the sense, which is very automatic and is normally naturally there because that's how we tend to perceive. That's the vibration from which we tend to perceive reality is the assumption that there is a reality and that you are over here. And even the idea then of, oh, you create your reality is still dominated by the sense, the underlying assumption that you are walking around in a sandbox that exists independent of your consciousness, independent of you, independent of your creation. And so you start to think, okay, well, within this actual sandbox, I can start attracting everything I desire, or I can start creating things that are beautiful and love and light filled. But even that is a flawed concept. The sandbox within which you seem to be playing is already placed there by you at this very second. It's not actually there. You're not walking around in something that already exists. The entirety of the universe is walking around in you. But only because you choose for that to be the case. Why? Because you are a god. Literally. 